Taraba State, Northeast Nigeria, has had its challenges with criminal elements. Lately, residents lament an increasing rate of kidnapping for ransom. The assailants are said to attack homes, leaving destruction in their wake. A survivor who narrates his ordeal wants government to uphold everyone's rights to defend themselves. I was narrowly, narrowly escaped. Looking at these people, had it been that opportunity given to me to own a gun, I think all those people that I've seen through my window, I could have gone them down. But it's, the story is different now. I was lucky to have accept, escaped, but there are many people that are not lucky to escape. And these hoodlums are very small miscreants that are only threatening people with just because they're holding guns. Some residents choose to seek divine intervention and search for a solution. The Emir of Muri, who organized the prayer session, accuses people occupying the forest illegally of being responsible for the spat of kidnapping and other crimes in the area. A herdsman in the forests, you came to this state and we accepted you. Why then? Will you be coming to towns and villages to kidnap residents, even up to the extent of raping our women? We are tired of having sleepless nights, and the hunger alone in the land is enormous, and we will not allow it to continue. The federal government says it's not unaware of the challenges, but assures the residents it's making progress in the fight. What happened just a few weeks ago, there are a lot of uh, progress. And also, uh, Mr. President is, uh, is, 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 is on it, and, uh, and I believe uh, we are going to succeed at the end of the day. I also want to uh, urge Nigerians to also stay behind the president and support him for the fight against insurgency. While the prayer continues, residents want government to change its strategy towards addressing this challenge. Sorry.